And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an exciting day today. We're going to start with Lucian Dawn Spiders. That's right. We're, we're going to kind of take a deck that's going to be similar to um, the Elise Garen deck that we played uh, last week where, where we took like weird champion combinations and we made an Elise Garen deck and it had to do with spiders and Dawn Speakers and everything. So I was thinking, like, what if we do that, that same kind of thing? but uh, go Lucian instead of Garen, because Lucian, you know, wants your creatures to die as well. And Lucian is a, you know, aggressive champion. So like Lucian works pretty well with, uh, with like the spiders um, for multiple reasons, you know, whether your spiders are dying or whether uh, you need to get your beat down on. Um, so we, we got those kind of added uh, together. We have Ravenous Butcher in here as well with Curse Keeper. And the aristocrat that's just a, another way to you know be aggressive and be able to have something die because we want to be able to have our allies die basically every single turn because with dawn speakers um you know all of our other allies would get plus one plus one if we had uh something die we have this silver wing vanguards in here this is a card that i i kind of overlooked before um you know get multiple bodies in play it's a way to be able to have something die pretty easily um, so we got that in here and then, uh, yeah, we're just going to try to make our creatures large. We got triple Scythria at the top end to give them all plus one, plus one, and fearsome as we're going wide. So I think this could be a pretty sweet deck here. So let's give it a try. Lucian Dawn Spiders. All right, we're going to go play five games over in Masters Ranked. Um, that looks good. So here we go. Have a, a good, fun stream day today. We're bringing back uh, Teemo Wayfinder, my favorite deck, and then a few others. Um, two new decks today with L Lucian, Dawn Spiders, and Undying Combat. Those are two new decks, and they're similar-ish decks with being Demacia and Shadow Isles. So I'm going to play, play one first, play one last, so we don't play them back-to-back. -back. All right, well, Lux Karma. Let's definitely get rid of these two. We don't have things to sacrifice right now, so three is too expensive at the top end. Um, I think I'm actually going to get rid of Dawn Speakers as well. Normally, I'd be keeping Dawn Speakers, but Lux Karma, this doesn't seem like a deck that's going to be killing too much stuff. Let's see what else we get. Let's see if we can find... Wow. I was going to say, let's see if we can find Lucian and Elise, our champions. And, uh, yeah, I think we I think we found them. I think we found our champions. We'll start with Elise on turn two. They both attack for three, but Elise puts another body in play. So over time, Elise will deal more damage because you get the additional bodies. I uh, <clears throat> wasn't expecting them to do anything on turn two. I'm thinking that they're going to be playing Remembrance on turn three. And what to do after Remembrance is going to be tough. Like, how like what, how to deal with Remembrance, depending on what they have. Oh, just a Shadow Assassin. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, that's not so bad. Uh, my options are good. Right now, we're not triggering Dawn Speakers. Uh, right now, the skitter trigger doesn't really matter. Um, I would like to be able to use all three mana, but I guess if I just play like Illusion, I can bank mana. Push back the dark. We'll play the Illusion. I will play my part. Wish we could go uh, wider than just four, you know, than just six things. Because if this happens, we have our four. We could have like crawling sensation, make five and six. Crawling sensation, make seven and eight. Dawn speakers, make nine. But we can't go that wide. So I'm planning on just playing dawn speakers. Uh, 
Boo. By the strength of our convictions. Ouch. That was perfect for them. They they hit the lottery. This Radiant Guardian. So Lucian has seen two allies die so far. Unfortunately, we can't just like play this and get two, you know, to get two more spiders. And then those spiders, you know, we don't have room for them. That doesn't count as them dying, so it doesn't doesn't mean we just get um, something for Lucian right away. Words move hearts and armies. Yeah, I mean, this, this Radiant Guardian's gonna be rough. Come on. Their guilt is evident. Uh, well. Man, I rid of both of my Dawn Speakers, too. So basically, I can play the Ravenous Butcher right now, and then it, we will level up Lucian. Which I guess that's what we do. And so I guess I sacrifice the Dawn Speakers. It's just a random 1-4. I think these 1-1 one, one Spiders are maybe more important. I'll bring them Have a lot of attacks, but it's almost like what's the what's the point against this Radiant Guardian? Man, those Dawn Speakers dying. Both of them, that was a killer. Hurts. Uh, this hurts. Of course, I wanted to rally right there, get another attack. I mean, if they have nothing, we're going to win this. So I guess it just... Oh, I don't have an attack token, right? Need to play that first. I guess we just hope they have nothing. Bring in the heat. Sweet. I got to do 20 damage. 
Good old Lucian. Need to play my champions from Demacia, as you can tell. All right, GGs. Even with the, the Dawn Speakers going down, even with them hitting that Radiant Guardian, going back up to 20 after they were down to 8. Got to in just one turn. Win that game. So, no champion. Demacia, Shadow Isles. That's probably like our... It's probably our Undying Combat deck that we're going to be playing later. That's a no champion. Yeah, it's same thing here. It's no champion. So, that's what I'm expecting. Um... I think I'll keep this start. Like, this star is in these three. Ooh. The chains, they never stop. Do I want to play Cursed Keeper with Ravenous Butcher? Or Elise and Ravenous Butcher? Oh, man. Probably want to play Elise. And attack with the least this turn. I know just the place. I'm not playing the other butcher. I think I'll keep the spider. I'm saving this butcher for the keeper. This three launch is gonna trade with a one one. That's fine. I think we I think we do attack instead of um, instead of just let them kill both of my spiders. This next turn is gonna be pretty great. Confine and contain. Thing is, I basically I'm just gonna be going all in here and hoping it works. So we we are gonna be able to flip a lease. Pretty crazy turn three though. Sorry. Past. I don't think I've ever been turn three of past everything except for one card in hand. Like I, that's I don't think I've, yeah, I've never done that. Um, do I want Conservator to trade with Spiderling? Yes. Basically, the other option is just kill the Conservator with my Elise, but I think we do that with the Spiderling so we get more damage in. Because as you can see here, we're getting thirteen damage in. We're going to get 13 damage in. That was a pretty good Withering Whale. Um, pretty good Withering Whale. Still a turn away from Cythria the Bold. Words move hearts and armies. Boys, we are so they have two creatures with Undying in hand. You know, two random, three or less. CMC creatures with them dying. Um, I 
And so obviously those two cards don't do anything. So then they have the other five. They got anything that does anything? Down to one. You can either have Scythria get plus one plus one or Lucian get plus one plus one. And I think I'd rather have Lucian get the plus one plus one. Push back the darkness. <laughs> Yeah, so they, they're playing the deck that we're going to be playing later on. So they're currently playing. That's a good draw. Rogabob! Bring in the hive. What's up, Rogabob? Thank you very much. Alright, so their thing's gonna die, my Lucian's gonna die, like, either way. We'll just sacrifice, you know, we'll get, get the two-card draw with the Lucian. We don't need to, like, sacrifice the spider token. Um, this is just one spider token. If I play this, this should... Should help me have lethal. Or at least we'll, we'll have lethal unless they have something. Strange. Oh. So we want them to just have all units in hand. No spells. They could have a one mana thing, hopefully not. No, they do have a one mana thing. Winter's breath. Be strong. Hard to winter's breath. Alright, well, no lethal for me. But still worth attacking. You know, a lot of three tough or three power things they have. They get to block everything. Okay, everything gets blocked. But they use all their resources just to stay alive. They got four cards left. That's the good news. They just pass. I'll pass too. They could, they they play Ruination. This could just be Ruination here, so I'm gonna just keep the tracker in hand. Could still Ruination. <laughs>
withering whale isn't saving them I get too greedy and forget about ruination too much yeah basically all the shadow isles decks are playing ruination right now basically everybody does um but yeah i mean i i know that deck that we're playing against because we're going to be playing it later on undying combat and yeah i know i know that deck has one ruination when they had those cards in hand and and they were really far behind and they just didn't do anything with the eight mana on turn eight that was like their only hope champion wild card All right, 2-0 for the Lucian Dawn Spiders. That was a great hand that we had. That was a pretty great hand. Another non no champion deck. Those aren't too common, but we're running into two of them in a row. Okay, so we're going to We're gonna keep three of the cards. It's just what do we want to keep the second cursed keeper or not? I think I want to mulligan the second cursed keeper. We're gonna have a crazy turn too. I'm gonna save. The, I'm gonna bank this mana for crawling sensation instead of playing Fleet Feather Tracker. So we're gonna go Cursed Keeper. So they're a Yeti deck. Grab a Butcher. Crawling sensation. Just 11 power on turn two. I think I'll let them block my 1 1 to take 10. Yeah, that is crazy. 11 power on turn two. They chump blocked and took a. Now we get to refill. Man, Glimpse Beyond was a good draw. Butcher. Yeah, refill if we need to. I won't just sacrifice the one one just to just to do it. Uh, let's go to attacks. Another 10 damage, down to 2. No. Never mind. Only 4 damage. Down to 8. I was not expecting the Death Lotus, but that was a good card here. Well-timed Death Lotus. Lilith, where are you? Patience. Push right, they're gonna start dropping some Yetis, and that is gonna make my life difficult. Them dropping Yetis.
No. Oh, the reckoning. Wow. Aptly named. We got wrecked. Wreck and name. Dang. We were gonna be able to like flip the Lucian and everything. Like we we're like that was gonna be awesome. All right, they got some big creatures. Let's take the thirteen. I should probably have just waited a. I should have just waited till my turn to play that. Uh, yep. See, we would have had Lucian. Could have been the the first thing with the Lucian. Don't get in my way. Sweet. I was maybe being too aggressive for like another reckoning. Um but All right. 3 and 0. Oh. So good start. Good start. That can have some pretty aggressive, pretty aggressive starts. But now we're facing another aggro deck. We haven't really faced another aggro deck that can pressure us. Hmm. This is tough. Hey, Ravoki. I guess we get rid of the butcher nothing to sacrifice right now or do we just hope we draw into something to sacrifice maybe we just hope to draw into something to sacrifice that'd be ideal oh no there we go no one's the wiser What's that noise? ideal Attack with the Butcher. I mean, Butcher just trades with Spider. They could trade Butcher with Saboteur. Which would be worse for me. This is mercy. But, but then Saboteur is not getting the free point of damage in. So that's already two. Um, that's already two. Uh, Everything's in place. Boom. Level up things for the Lucian. Now this is three. I don't think it's worth us, you know, think about blocking the spiderling. I don't think it's worth blocking the spiderling. There's too many things can go wrong. Silver ring silver wing vanguard should be very good for us.
This will level up Lucian. rally right now. This fight is over. Cause this fight is over. Let's take a real close look at the action. Well, because the reason to do that now is because if I don't do that, they could just pass. If they just pass turn, then I don't get to cast it. But I guess I guess if they just pass turn, that's good for me anyway, because then I just go straight to attacks. I guess I didn't really think of that. Um, how can I lose if I don't block? They, ha they have to have, like, seven damage. That's two, so they have to have five damage with the three mana. So they basically have to have... Okay, so they didn't have... They have, like, Brother's Bond plus... Uh, whatever the, the one-mana Might card is called. Sure about that? Death doesn't scare me. He engages, but will he survive? Hopefully, yes. Try me. Fate brings us together. Alright, now that was our first, you know, so I didn't want to block and have, you know, not have the attack token with that. Burn away the shadows. Now we had some, you know, we had something die during that combat, so then we got the attack token. Bring in the heat. And there we go. Lucian. Dang, Lucian's been great. Alright, well this deck seems pretty mean. We are getting way out in front right away. Ooh, we got another we got a our first bonus capsule. Got our first bonus capsule. Lucian is really fun to play. Yeah, Lucian's Lucian's pretty sweet. Alright, and we're facing aggro again. So hopefully we have a really good hand like we just did. Again. Hmm. We need Something to die first for Curling Sensation. We are attacking turn two. So turn two, we can Elise Sensation. I like Silverwing Vanguard. Let's try this. Oh, Brood Awakening's in our deck? Oh, I forgot about that. We hadn't drawn that card this whole time. Okay, ready. No, we didn't, we didn't lose any rank after we won. Whenever you join your next... <clears throat> like, whenever you join your match, it actually says, like, you, what your ranking was before. It's a little... It's a little delayed. So it actually says what my ranking was. Um, like, previously. 
Well, this is unfortunate. We the bite. I don't think it's worth not attacking. Like, I could not attack so my Elise doesn't trade. But if I don't attack and they just go straight to combat and attack with a 5-2 and a 3-2, that's me just trading. You know, I probably have to block. That's 8 damage. I probably have to block the 5-2 anyway. And then when I, you know, then I just traded my Elise for the 5-2 anyway and I don't get the extra 1-1. One, one. So we might as well take the 1-1. One, one. Reporting in? I don't... I don't believe that's correct, Revolki, with the rankings. I, I think you might have saw a different ranking. I don't think I was at 1,000 and then... 1,002 afterwards. I, I don't think that, that happened. Um, but I don't know exactly what the rankings were. We are going to have a lot of spiders, but we may not have a lot of life. So I'm making some bad blocks to try to save life. <clears throat> I dealt two to the boom crew to get two damage on it so that my silver wing vanguard would kill it. And so that they wouldn't be able to attack with it anymore. That was my That was my reasoning for for blocking with the two damage on the boom crew instead of the, the two damage on one of these things. For the Empire. But it didn't work. I'm really glad they played something pre-combat. We get all these spiderlings now. That's perfect. These are all like, you know, they're two toughness that we can trade, trade. Don't mind me. Just kind of trade across the board. Nothing can stop me. Why can't you block? I'll do better this time. Better run. Get down to just one card. Another Brute Awakening will do a good job of blocking these things. Oh, I don't want to be drawing these Cythrias right now. I don't want the six mana cards in this matchup. I'm honestly very happy with how I've played this game. It just, you know, we may lose, but I I like the decisions I've made, including like just blocking the three twos with the one ones earlier to save life and everything like that. But just because I like the decisions that we've made doesn't mean okay, we're gonna be winning ready. this. So what should I play Cythria or Curse Keeper plus Dawn Speakers? Probably Curse Keeper plus Dawn Speakers. While we have something die. And then we untap in Cythria. No. Well, just GG's. Double Decimate. Got us down from 8. Had exact lethal. Yeah, see, we were so we were at like 934 and then went to 1047. Um, 
But yeah, this this deck looked really good. Yeah, I liked I liked this. Um, I don't. I mean, Senna. I mean, Senna is pretty good. I don't know what I'd rather have Senna than. Um, you know, I don't know about maybe like back to back or something. But like, you do run out of space for things. I don't know. I, I think this deck worked out really well how how it was built. Um, I would not. I would play Silverwing Vanguard over Senna for sure. Um, maybe one Senna over one Cythria, maybe. But yeah, I don't know if there's really that much room for Senna, to be honest. But yeah, but Senna is a good card. I understand Senna is a really good card. And of course, how good of a card it is with Lucian and the combo potential of drop Senna, butcher it, level up Lucian. It's a really nice combo. It's like maybe maybe like one Senna over a Cythria. I could see that. As far as fitting a fitting a Senna in, cool. Yeah, you'll you'll try that. Let me know. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Give that a try. Let me know um, how that goes. But um, yeah, there we go. So that's that's Lucian Dawn Spiders. Pretty sweet deck here. Uh, we just got out aggroed, you know, barely out aggroed there that last game, but pretty pretty good deck. Yeah, looks like looks like this could be really good. So if you're if you're watching this later on YouTube, you know, besides hitting that like button, give give this one a try. This does look like it has a lot of potential and everything. And uh, report back. Let you know, let, leave a comment in the YouTube section there uh in the comments and let me know how it's going for you if you're playing this yourself all right but that's it here for lucian dawn spiders so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video